Hey everybody, I'm Prentice Park, pastor of Bethany West Seattle. Today's verse comes from Matthew chapter 2, verse 4. Now, it doesn't seem like a significant verse by itself, uh, but there's a question in there that I believe has the power to change our lives. So, listen to this. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In other words, King Herod is asking, where can the Messiah be found? And then the following verse says, uh, from Bethlehem. Now, there are many reasons why this is significant. First, uh, Bethlehem was where King David was born. Uh, There's a royal lineage there, and it places Jesus right in that same lineage. Uh, And it ultimately points to Jesus' kingship. You see, verse 6 is a direct quote from Micah 5. It says, But you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judah, are by no means at least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Now, scholars agree that though Bethlehem began as a place of greatness and significance, it actually ended up being a place of smallness and insignificance, uh, and there was really nothing special about it. You see, here's where the verse becomes uh, what I would say a lifeline for us today. You see, the Messiah, the Savior of the world, God in the flesh, uh, comes from surprising, uh, subtle, uh, in the most unassuming places, such as the little town of Bethlehem. Thus, the reminder here in verse 6 is that this place, Bethlehem, may feel small. It may feel insignificant. It may feel like a place that one would just pass through on a road trip. But watch out. This is where you will find our Savior. Uh, And in a world of oppression and and war and violence and hatred, uh, in the first century here, the message was, this is the precise place you will find peace, shalom. This is where it was birthed. And so our invitation today is this, is to ask the very same question in Matthew 4. Where does our Messiah come from? Where does our peace come from? May we look for God's peace in the most unassuming places like Bethlehem, Conversely, don't only expect God's peace to be seen in the spectacular. The other day, uh, I was in my house, and it was extremely cold. Uh, And many of you guys might be able to resonate with this, but my feet got really cold. It it felt like it was just freezing. So I walked over to the heater, uh, to the vent, and I put my feet right over it. uh, and, And when I felt the warmth, I just said to myself, God, thank you for the heater. Uh, And something about that just slowed down my breath, my heart. Uh, And in a surprising way, I felt a little more peace. Now, we are living in a world of a pandemic, of political division, of racial unrest, of financial struggles, relationship troubles, uh, suddenly becoming a homeschool teacher, perhaps, while still having to work. Now, we're all looking for some sense of peace. Again, may we find it in Bethlehem, in the mundane, in the not-so-significant moments of our every day lives. Will you look for that? And will you pray with me? God, in a world where many of us are experiencing chaos, uncertainty, fear, may we see you in the most surprising places in our everyday lives. May we experience your peace every day in order for it to sustain us and to continue us, uh, to help us continue to move forward with hope. It's in your name we pray. Amen.